Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another CarX video. You guys enjoy the Kino Mod tutorial video, so I thought I would extend on that a little bit for those of you that got it downloaded. And we would show you today how to install downloaded liveries using the Kino Mod. And if you're unsure where to download some of these liveries, I'm going to show you exactly where you can find some. So, without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to download a livery. Now you may be asking, where do I find these liveries? Well, the first place you're going to find one is in our Discord. If you guys are not a member, be sure that you check out the link down in the description. We have a couple here that was made by, our, by one of our members, Karika. They make some really cool liveries, as you can see here. We got a lot of expired milk theme ones, which I think are really awesome. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, but regardless. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we're actually going to go with this S13 one right here. And so we're just going to download this. Bam. We're going to use Google Chrome to download this. There we go. So that actually brings us to our second place to find the liveries. Now this is the website. I will have this linked down in the description. Also, this is just a mikemartin.co forward slash multimedia forward slash a vinyl underscore liveries. So this person has a some liveries for, oh, went a little bit too far there. This person has some liveries for a need for speed as well, but we're gonna we're not interested in that. We want to scroll down to Car X Drift on Steam. So just scroll through until you find one that you like. Now I haven't looked a whole lot at this website, so I don't know what all he has. But when you do find one that you like, there's gonna be a link right under it. It's gonna say download Kino dot k n v i s just click that and then it's going to download now if you scroll through here and you don't find anything you like and you wonder where you can find some more just a simple quick google search of a car x drift racing online kino mod liveries and uh, i'm sure you'll find something that you will enjoy so once you have your livery downloaded, you're going to go to whatever drive that you have the game saved on. As you can see, I have two drives here. Mine is saved on the SSD, so we're going to open that. Then you're going to go to Program Files Times 86. You're going to go to Steam, and you're going to go down to Steam Apps, and then Common. Then you're going to go to CarX Drift Racing Online. And now this is the actual mod folder, which you guys should be familiar with this since you've already installed the mod. Just go into that mod folder, go into Plugins and then go into KN base and then visuals. Inside this visuals folder is where all of your liveries are gonna be. Let's move this over here so that way we can see. All right, so now that we have this moved over here to the left, we're just gonna open our download folder. Now we already have this open, but you're gonna open it, move it to the right just for simplicity. And then we're gonna take our livery that we just downloaded. We're gonna click it and we're gonna drag and drop over into this visuals folder just like that. Then once you've done that, that's all you got to do. You're going to close out. Bam. We already have CarX open. Then you're going to press F4. You're going to go over here to Visuals. Then you're going to go Load Design for S13. And then you'll see all of the liveries that you have for that car will show up right here under Files. We're going to click that. It's not going to show up just yet, so but don't get scared. You're going to go over here. And you're going to click Apply to S13. And bam, there we go. Just like that, we got the livery on the car. Very simple to do, not too tricky, and it doesn't take too long. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, do me a favor, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content just like this. Also, a uh, big, big thanks to Karika for making this livery and for all the other ones I have made. They're all really, really cool, and I really appreciate it. They're super sick. You can see we got our logo right here on the side. He did a great great job on this so thank you very much if you guys haven't checked him out check him out in our discord but thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one you can now become even more a part of the channel by becoming a member and getting exclusive access to badges emojis and a variety of other perks including members only live chats early access to my new videos and more